Christie penned his name to the newborn heart screening bill. It's believed the new law is the first of its kind in the nation. It makes heart screening mandatory for all newborns before they leave the hospital. The World Health Organization says cell phone usage can possibly cause brain cancer, putting cell phones in the same category as DDT and car exhaust fumes. But some health experts are dubious. They question the evidence. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. Cell phones, they're everywhere. A survey last year shows that 5 billion people around the world now use them. I don't know how to live without it anymore. <laughs> but are they safe? It's been known for years that cell phones emit low-level radiation that increases activity in the brain. But now the World Health Organization, after reviewing numerous studies, has concluded that cell phones are possibly carcinogenic. Dr. Daniel Wartenberg, an environmental health expert at Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, explains. What those studies showed is that for in people who use cell phones and develop brain tumors, the location of the brain tumor was close to where they held the phone. A 13-nation study last year found no increased risk, but researchers also said that participants who use cell phones the most, 30 minutes a day or more, had a 40% higher risk of glioma, a rare type of brain cancer. This is a glioma located here in the left frontal lobe of the brain. How serious are gliomas? Gliomas are very serious. There are different kinds, what we call slow growing or fast growing. The more aggressive gliomas, like glioblastoma, have an average survival of about 14.6 months. Wow, it's kind of messed up. You know what we're going to use from now on. But experts at New Jersey Neuroscience Institute at JFK Medical Center say the data doesn't prove there's a causal relationship or a link between cell phone use and gliomas. I'm not convinced that cell phones represent a risk for the development of brain tumors, but I think it's something we should definitely be investigating. And one of the biggest problems here is that these studies that are cited by the WHO rely on people's memories of how much they use their cell phones. And as we all know, memories are not necessarily reliable. There's something called recall, the epidemiologists call recall bias, and that is You'll have some idea of how much you might have used it, but when you hear that you have some illness that relates to it, somehow that becomes inflated in your mind. It's not that people are lying consciously. I'm still going to get my Android. I'm still going to have my 4G phone. still going to have the iPhone, the iPhone 4, so it's not going to stop me. If you do use a cell phone, the American Cancer Society says, consider going hands-free. Bluetooth is one option, so is speakerphone. And you can always learn how to text, but don't do it while you're driving. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Newark. Yes, that is a whole nother health issue. Well, up next, the